welcome back to theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Again, that website address for you is theclinicaltrialsguru.com. So I got asked a follow-up question on how I use clinicaltrials.gov to search for studies. And I mean, it's not perfect and it's, you know, uh, there's probably better ways to do this, but I've been doing this for years now and just going to give you some quick little pointers so that you can see what I'm talking about. So hopefully you can see the screen. I'm on clinicaltrials.gov and let's see. Okay, so I'm going to search for, <coughs> sorry, I have a cold. I'm going to search for major depressive disorder all right and I click search so now as you can see they have because of the filters like I just put any study with major depressive disorder so they're showing me studies that have been terminated which means that they're done enrolling studies that are completed which means the study is actually done um, recruiting so this would be one that if I were to be looking for a study, I would be looking at this. Um, so as you can see, let's just say, for instance, I want to get that one. I would click on it. And as you can see, because I have no filters, um, this search is not very good for me. It pulls up something from Taiwan. So, you know, maybe that's good for you if you're in Taiwan. And as I scroll down, I see that it's being done at the Department of Psychiatry at some hospital in Taiwan. There is a principal investigator, and that's about it. But if I, oh, and he has a contact phone and a contact email. Uh, so it's probably not a good lead for you if you're looking for doing the study in the U.S. So that's where filters come into play. And you can do like an advanced search and then you can search for anything with major depressive disorder okay and then you can put um, only open studies so anything that's green this that means recruiting or not yet recruiting so both of those are good um, and then study type so there's uh, interventional studies, which is where you actually introduce some kind of therapy or drug or something, or observational studies where you're just observing the patient. So either one is fine. Um, so I'm going to keep those search terms, and then I'm going to limit it to the United States, and I'm looking for adult studies. And uh, let's say I don't want to do phase zero or phase one studies. Let's say I just want to do phase two, three, and four. I'll click those. And let's say I don't get grants from the NIH, so I just want private industry studies. So I don't want studies being done. I don't want to find studies being done at a university or at the NIH or some other U.S. agency because I'm... I have a private clinic and so most of the clinical trials, in fact all the clinical trials I do are from the industry sponsored and we talked about this in other videos. Um, so then I'll put search and we'll see what happens. There's going to be tons, 49 studies right now and, <coughs> and again these, I don't know how often clinicaltrials.gov is updated but it seems to be updated regularly enough to, you know, you can do this like once a week. Um, and you won't be wasting your time. So there's this one, uh, Cariprazine, as an adjunctive antidepressant therapy. So if you click on it, okay, uh, some of them will actually have, it tells you everything about the study too. It tells you like what the purpose is, uh, what phase, phase two, tells you that it's a they have a drug and a placebo um, and then if you go down it says estimated enrollment 810 so they start they started the study in December of 11 and they're gonna finish in September of 14 eligibility 18 to 65 and this is just one study I clicked on randomly and they have a contact person um, 
So it looks like Forest Pharmaceuticals <clears throat> is doing this. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to call her because this is a uh, kind of studies I'd like to do. Uh, but either way, I mean, you can see here you have the <coughs> this person and she is the one who's from Forest Farm. So this is Forest Laboratories. She's the contact person for this study. Um, and if you go down further, you want some more information. Um, sometimes they show you the study locations. Yeah, so if you click on this, it expands. And you can see what sites are doing it in your area. I happen to know most of these sites in California. So I can just call some of them and say, hey, are you guys doing this study? How easy is it? Things like that. Um, so as you can see, every state's pretty much represented. And then they have other countries too. Um, is it every state? No, I wouldn't say it's every state. California, Florida, Georgia, Kansas, Mississippi, Missouri, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania. So it's a, it's a lot of states, but not all of them. For sure, not all. And then, so let's say I am done with that study. I contacted this person. And we'll see what happens. Now let's go on to another one. You won't always find a contact person. And in cases like those, for instance, let's try, well, this looks like the same drug. So they probably will have their contact information there. But let's try this one. And I have no idea what this is. Uh, it's a phase four study. They use placebo. Um, so they're going to start, they started in April of 2012. And they're going to complete in January of 15. Ages 18 to 70. Ah, so same contact person actually. Looks like the same sponsor, Forest Laboratories. I should probably be calling them. Um, okay, here's one. This is another sponsor. This is Abbott. They're now called AbV. And they might have a contact person too. So they started in December of 2012. They're going to be done in January of 14. 18 to 65 years old. And they have contacts too. They're, they actually have two contacts. Um, so... I mean, this is how you do business development, guys. It's not, you know, clinicaltrials.gov is fantastic because <clears throat> you can pretty much search for whatever you want. And yeah, you may not always find the contact people on there like we did here. We got lucky. Uh, here's one with AstraZeneca. They may not have the contact people on here from my experiences. Um, December. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, sorry, bad cold. December 2011 to November of 13 and they don't have a contact person they have like a 1-800 number which is not very helpful um, because it's going to be a hotline for study participants to call but you can try to get a hold of this guy here he's the study director from AstraZeneca so you can call AstraZeneca you just pull up their website Google AstraZeneca and then find their corporate office because this guy's in Wilmington, Delaware. And call and ask for Dr. Desai and talk to him. So this is how you do it. I don't want to take too much more of your time. But as you can see, I did a very simple search terms, use some filters. And this will work for any study that you're doing. Hopefully this helps. Right now I want to give a shout out to my clinical trial guru producers. It's Sarah Elizabeth Siegler, Resolve Research Solutions, Accurate Clinical Trials, Erdhart Clinical Trials, PTNR, Patrick Stone, we have Darshan Kulkarni from Kulkarni Law Firm, Biofarm Systems, Mozio, Zymewire, South Coast Clinical Trials, and Breakthrough Clinical Trials. And I'm pulling up the producers here so you can see who they are. All right, and if you want to be a producer, get at me. It's 99 bucks for a lifetime membership. I'm not adding very more people, so. Get at me, Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. And shameless plug, here is my introduction to clinical research DVD. And the trailer is here. It's available if you want to watch it. Um, click on the get intro to clinical research DVD. Thank you.